from LA, y'all. And let me tell you how amazing that daggone trip was. The trip was off the damn chain. And of course, you guys already know I daily vlog on my vlog channel. If you guys don't already know, it's always linked below in the description box. If you wanna see what Juice and I got into and all the other YouTubers that we met got into, definitely make sure to check out the link down below. Subscribe to the daily vlog channel. You can check out every single day that we were down in LA because we were down there for seven full days. So we didn't just go to IMAX, we went to all kinds of other places. Went to all kinds of places to eat, went to all kinds of places to hang out, have some drinks, hang out with peoples and them. Hung out with some YouTubers, y'all already know. The YouTubers that were part of the meet and greet also hung out with them. But in addition to that, got to hang out with some other YouTubers as well. Met a bunch of girls that I followed for a long time. So, hey, and what's up to y'all that I met out there? And uh, for those of you guys who came out to the meet and greet that were at IMATS, that were out and about in the streets of LA, Y'all, it was amazing to meet every single one of y'all. I can't tell y'all enough how appreciative I am of the love, the support, everything that y'all have shown me here on this channel as well as the other one as well. And you know how you just come back inspired from some shit that happened and it's like, and you know, I'm always trying to, you know, promote positivity and just, you know, just unity and just togetherness and just, you know what I'm saying? Especially amongst us sisters, you know what I'm saying? Y'all. It was amazing, 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 amazing. So, so to all the the ladies that did the meet and greet with me, and uh, everyone that I met out there, and male and female, because I did meet some males as well, hubbies of subscribers and male subscribers as well. Thank you for everything, and it was amazing to hang out and meet uh, meet with all y'all. And I'm sorry, I'm just rambling, but y'all know it was just. Amazing. Look, I'm going to say that shit over and over again. All right. Plus, I do have the meet and greet footage that's coming, so I want to make sure to let you guys know I will be editing that very shortly, and it will be probably going up here in the next week or so. So just be on the lookout for that so you guys can see how the meet and greet went. It was fucking amazing. I'm just being real. It was amaze balls. okay? Thank you so much for all of that. So anyway, on another note, wanted to give you guys another quick update, because you already know what this whole thing right here is all about based on the title. This is a haul from I Met, and there's a whole hell of a lot to show y'all, but I want to make sure to let you guys know a couple updates since I've been out of town and I went out of town kind of directly after the holiday haven't had a chance to even pick out the giveaway winners you all know I have three giveaways going out on my channel I also had a giveaway going out on my vlog channel and my hubby is actually the one who actually picked uh, juice he's the one who picked out the winners for that he announced the winners but they still haven't gotten in touch with us so you guys may have a chance to you know you know enter that giveaway it's the holiday gift guide giveaway and that's going on on the vlog channel so feel free to keep entering because as of right now Okay, the people that he announced in the video hasn't come forward yet. Okay, I also am going to be announcing the giveaway winners And I'm just gonna put it in the description box of the videos for each of the giveaways that I have here on this channel There are three giveaways as you guys know that have been running So I just want to make sure to let y'all know that I will be picking out those winners I just didn't have time to do it before I left plus y'all know I was helping to plan the meet-and-greet and so it was cray cray But now that everything's kind of settled and I'm back to normalcy. I'll be able to get those selected as well Okay that was, you know, housekeeping shit that I had to make sure to let y'all know. So, the reason why you guys opened this video, I'm assuming, is to see what the fuck I got at IMAT. And when I tell y'all, I got so much shit at IMAT that I can't fit it on this damn video. I ain't even lying and you're gonna see that here in a minute. Make sure to leave comments down below and let me know of all of these items that I'm about to show y'all or some of the stuff that's gonna be cut in like a little B-roll type footage or like a little cutaway footage. Let me know of those items, what you guys want to see in future videos, test it out, first impressions, battle of the brands, holla at your girl, comment down below. First I have to give a special shout out to somebody who gave me something that I have mentioned in my beauty, uh, best of beauty video, the part one, and I've talked about it a million times over, and I got this right before I left for LA. So real quick, wanted to make sure to let y'all know, y'all know one of my favorite products is this shit right here. It is on my eyes. Y'all know I ain't got no damn lashes, okay? They're short and I have none, pretty much. This is the Mary Kay Lash Love. If y'all saw my best of beauty, y'all know this is probably hands down one of my absolute favorite mascaras in the entire world. I mentioned it in the video, and one of my subscribers actually sent this to me in time for me to get it for LA. I so thankful did not expect it thank you so much so I'm gonna make sure to share her information real quick I will also put the information down below in the description box her name is Miss V King and she is a Mary Kay uh, beauty consultant so if you guys want anything in relation to Mary Kay and 
when I say this shit right here is off the chain, definitely look her up. I will look her, link her information down below. Um, I'll at least put her email down below because I don't want to put her personal information on there. But I will certainly put her email down below. Thank you, B. Thank you, thank you, thank you for this. So sweet, so kind. I so appreciate it. All right, now I'm that shit. I'm sorry. Six minutes in and I'm just getting to it. Okay, got to go through first and foremost um, NYX because there's so much of it, okay? Um... I'm gonna do a little cutaway real quick so y'all can see. You're gonna be able to see somewhere on this screen, okay? Just how much of NYX products, NYX, whatever you wanna call it, y'all know it's my pet name, NYX has always been what I called it. And you can see on the screen how much stuff they gave me. I went to an NYX private soiree. It was a little, you know, private event that they had along with Nume, or Numi, I can never say their name right. And um, anyway, I was invited to go, checked it out, and one of the giveaways, not giveaways, but one of the items they gave to you as you walked out the door was an entire bag of their entire 2014 collection so when I tell you I have everything under the Sun I have everything under the Sun which is great because it's allowing me the opportunity to check out a bunch of products so the bag they actually gave it to me in was this mother sucker right here okay BAM thing is huge when I say this shit was probably 50 pounds, I'm not kidding. It was probably 50 pounds, okay? First up, uh, the, the few things that I definitely want to make sure to show you guys that I can without showing you guys every single thing in that video. Like I said, anything you see on there, let me know if you want to see reviews, imp impressions on, battle the brands on, are these butter lipsticks. And they gave me pretty much every single color that they have, some of which, from what I understand, are not even out yet. But these are just three that I'm going to show you guys right now that I have in my hand, okay? I only took a few of pretty much everything. I'm actually wearing one of the colors on my lips right now, and it's literally exactly what the hell it says. Butter lipsticks, okay? So the one that I'm actually wearing is Butter Lipstick, and it is in BLS05, okay? And that's what they're called, BLS05. And it's called Hunk Bow Goss, is what it's called. Look, I'm gonna try my damnedest to tell you guys these names up, messing them up. So here we go, bam! That right there is the color, and I'm gonna try to swatch out as many of the things that I have here that I can if they're open already so that's a good way to open it but like I said I'm wearing this color on my lips I can tell you right off the bat super soft okay super duper soft like it does really for real for real feel like butter on the lips it's not the most heavily pigmented lipstick and I don't think it was meant to be but you can tell there is color payoff and I did have to put a lot of it on just FYI but it don't go anywhere when you put it on oh it's just ah butter Butter. Okay. Okay. So, moving on. The other color that I got from them is, well, there's, I got all of the colors, like I said. But this is just a couple of the ones that caught my eye. BLS 11 Licorice. And this is just a darker shade. Okay. This is not a shimmery. So they come in different, they seem to come in different um, formulas. Okay. It's not as shimmery as the one below. So the one I'm just showing you right now, Licorice, is this color right here. Very pretty fall color. And last but not least, you guys already know I was going to pick a red BLS 08 Mary Janes, okay? And it's this color right over here. Bam. Okay? And here we go. This color right here. Ah! Oh, you see that? And when I say, like I said, it's not severely pigmented, but you see there's color payoff. And when I say they go on like butter, it's butter, baby. Okay? All right. So those are the three I'm going to show you of that. I also got a ton of of matte lipsticks okay one of which I'm about to show you which is MLS 30 and let me show you the containers you guys have already probably been familiar with the matte lipsticks they've had these out for a while but these are some different colors here this is MLS 30 this is a very very pretty wine color okay and these are the mattes you guys know I love me some matte lippies and look I'm already running out of room on my arm Ooh you see that pretty color that pretty berry color gorgeous right there bam okay so I only pulled one of those just to show you guys now a couple of other lippies that they actually gave were the butter glosses okay and the soft matte lip creams which you guys already know these existed the lip creams already I have a ton of these you already know that and uh, the butter gloss that I'm gonna show you guys is in BLG 19 and it, the container it's a very pretty hot pink okay and it is this color right here so I'm gonna try to swatch it out I have not tried all these colors yet and just a nice pretty soft soft lip gloss okay so you guys can see that BAM this is the soft lip uh, lip cream or soft matte lip cream in SMLC 20 this is Copenhagen Copenhagen very pretty berry looking color okay and I'm about to just now you guys already know the finish on these is extremely matte 
See that? Woo! Woo! Right there. Bam! Gorgeous, okay? They gave me pretty much every color known to man of all of these, okay? So I will be wearing them periodically throughout, you know, videos and I'll, of course, identify or if I forget, just leave a comment down below and let me know which one I'm wearing. You know, ask me which one I'm wearing because sometimes I forget to let y'all know in the video and I need to just make it a point to do that every time I shoot one. Okay, here we go because y'all know I change all my shit all the time. This is the uh, NYX Infinite Shadow Stick in Blackout, okay? And uh, that's it right there. I'm pulling basic things to see if it's open. It's already open. All right, so if it's open, I'm gonna try to swatch. Ooh, sun. Ah, oh, look at that. Beautiful pigmented black, okay? I will, swoo. I will certainly let you know about that. Bam, okay. Now, as far as other pencils I received, I got a, uh, this is a lip liner pencil, and I'm trying to branch out and do more lip liners, so I will certainly let you know when I start doing that. This is an MLP20 Hot Pink. And it comes like that. Oh shoot! Okay, it is retractable. Oh shit! Oh, it looks almost like candy dum dum, y'all. Hi! There we go. It candy. It looks like I swear it's not purple. It's coming off purple, but it's hot pink, and it literally looks just like candy dum dum. It would probably go well with candy dum dum for real, for real. There were also three of these in my bag, and this is their color mascara, and this is actually one that they have in purple violet CM01. So they come looking like this, the containers. And y'all know I'm a I'm a mascara freak because of my lashes. So it's a very pretty, very pretty purple color. Just so you guys can see what that looks like. All right. Bam, see all these? These are all different variations of mascara. I love the names of these mascaras, y'all, okay? They were thinking of the thick sisters, okay? When they came up with these names, look, all I can think of is Beyonce when I, uh, when I read these. All right, first up, this is NYX's Stacked, okay? Stacked. The next one is NYX Voluptuous. I love it. And they're all different shapes. I'm assuming they're gonna have totally different reasonings behind their formulas, their brushes, etc. NYX Badunka Dunk, y'all. I love it! I love it! I love it, okay? This one's NYX More to Love, baby. <laughs> More to Love, baby. Okay. This one is NYX XXL. So double XL. I love it. I love it. I love it. And last two, Curvaceous, is this one. Okay, and this one is full figured, baby. Okay, look, boom, I love it. So I will let you guys know about that because y'all know my battle is real with these lashes, you hear me? Got a bunch of blushes, got a bunch of eyeshadow. So I'm just showing you guys the packages. This is blush from NYX and this is in Flamingo PB30. Okay, it's, it's, it's closed up, so I'll keep you guys posted on these. This one is actually an, an eyeshadow, Bad Seed is the name of it. And hopefully, this I think this one is open. Oh, it's beautiful. Oh my God, it's gorgeous, it's gorgeous, it's gorgeous. Perfect for the spring. You see that color? And I will actually swatch it so you guys can look at that shit. Ooh, wee! You, it's bad, okay. They also sent me some baked blushes, so these are just some of the colors that they sent me. This color right here is, doo -doo -doo, Statement Red, which is kind of like a fuchsia. Okay? Now, they sent me a bunch of eyeshadow palettes. Now, my sister, Manushka, she came up in my house and damn near ransacked my damn, you know, bag and everything that I done brought with me from eye mats or whatever. So, she got um, one of these palettes, but I'm gonna show you the uh, one of the, the three that they sent me and I'll show you guys the rest. Here we go. Dream Catcher palette is this one right here. And this is now, it's still closed, but I can at least show you guys what the palettes look like. And I got three of these in my bag, okay? And they're all variations of color. I also really so happy that I got these, okay? I also got a whole bunch of tinted moisturizer and I also got some uh, foundation, okay? Liquid foundation. So first up, I'm just showing you two of these. Bam, bam, okay? Got uh, the tinted moisturizer from NYX and I'm just showing you guys the two colors. One is almond, which is TM07, and one is tan, which is TM06. But I got pretty much every daggone shade that's in this daggone um, in the tinted moisturizer as well as the foundations too. The biggest thing and the, the, and the, the huge thing that I'm kind of interested in with the tinted moisturizers, the foundations, I also got some BB creams as well. The biggest thing that I'm kind of curious about because y'all don't see a lot of us this is talking about the foundations and tinted moisturizers from NYX. There's a reason, especially in my skin tone, because the variation of color for darker sisters is just really not that apparent in NYX as far as foundations, tinted moisturizer or whatever. A lot of it is too that um, even if it is in your skin tone, the undertone is a little different 
So the variation is not, this just isn't a big variety for us in this skin tone. Lighter skin sisters, there's plenty, there's plenty. But for us who are in my skin tone are darker, not necessarily the best and the most variety. So it's gonna be very interesting to see, these are the darker shades, it's gonna be very interesting to see how these pan out on me. So if you guys wanna see a review, first impressions, battle of the brands, whatever you wanna see, because y'all know I'm obsessed with tinted moisturizer, that's mostly what you see me wear, let me know. But like I said, when I went to these events, there weren't a lot of us in this skin tone that went. I, I didn't see anybody that was in my skin tone. So it's going to be interesting to see, you know, how these uh, these turn out. You know what I'm saying? The next couple things I got was uh, this one of the foundations. And this is just two of the colors. But I got pretty much every color that they have in the foundations. This is their Invincible Fullest Coverage Foundation. Bam. Okay. These are the two darkest shades that I received. All right. Y'all know I'm a big fan of NYX. But I'm going to see how these all pan out. BB cream. This is just to show you the package. I got a few of these as well, okay? And this is in the color golden, which I know ain't gonna work for me. But I'm just showing you guys the package so you guys can see what it looks like. White always messes my camera up. Okay. They also sent a couple other things. Uh, primer being one of them. This is the Skin Perfecting Prim Primer. This is Angel Veil. Y'all know I'm big on primers. And let me go ahead and focus on that so y'all can see it. Bam. Okay, orange pigment, and this is for dark circles. This is a concealer. So look at that. I need to use my hand so that I can black out that white. There we go. See that? It's got that orange tint to it. That's pretty much, for the most part, outside of everything else you saw in the little cutaway um, that got sent to me from, um, or got given to me from, from NYX when I went to their event. So thank you so much to NYX for giving these products out to me. And um, I'm excited to try them. Y'all know I wear my Miami Babe, NYX Miami Babe every single day. Y'all know that. Okay, so big supporter of NYX, so it's going to be fun to play around with these. Like I said, keep commenting down below. Let me know if there's anything in particular that you guys want to see. And I'm going to go on to the rest of the IMATS haul. All right, so I had to turn the camera off, turn it back on, just to kind of make sure it doesn't time out on me. All right, so we're going to go on to the other companies as well, as well as the items that I also got from IMATS. Now, you guys already know for the meet and greet, we had several sponsors. So I want to say thank you to the sponsors that sponsored our meet and greet, one of which was LA Girl. So I want to show you guys what LA Girl actually gave to me at the event they had packages specifically for the hosts of the meet and greet and it was so sweet of them to even put this together city colors is also another company that sponsored us which is like a sister company to la girls so both those companies sponsored the meet and greet and both companies gave uh nice packages to the hosts of the meet and greet as well so i'm going to show you guys what they gave me and uh you guys are going to be able to see in the cutaway look i'm trying to get all technical and shit that uh they gave me a whole big box of stuff so we're going to go through the box like as i'm sitting here because this is the first time i'm actually able to really for real go through it simply because of the fact that you know by the time I met was over I had to come right back to st. Louis so I really couldn't open up everything okay so we're not gonna get swatches but at least you're able to see some of their products so ooh, that's pretty so LA girl this is the LA girl box this is some eyeshadows this is called pina colada so this is just to kind of show you guys some of the products they sent me and mimosa some eyeshadows God, y'all they weren't even playing okay let me go through the top part the bottom portion real quick oh, pfft. Look, so excited about this right here because y'all know I've been trying. I've been wanting, y'all know I'm big under the under the eye, you know, the concealers because y'all know I got darkness under the eyes. Look what they gave. Bam! Okay, LA Girl, these are the Pro Conceal uh, High Definition Concealers and they gave me several different colors of which um, I'm probably not going to fit all of them. This might be more of my skin tone but for more of a highlight and y'all know, know I don't really do highlight but I will most certainly be testing whatever I can out of these and we'll see if there's more on the bottom but either way, this I'm excited about. The LA Girl also gave me a pressed powder. And uh, this is a press powder for all skin types. So this is what the packaging look like, looks like, just to, in the essence of saving time. I won't open up every single one of these, because like I said, you guys know I will certainly do first impressions videos and all kinds of stuff here on the YT now that I'm back and I'm back to my normal self. Plus just FYI, reality show recaps are coming back too. Y'all know I was out of town, so I couldn't do the last episode of Real Housewives of Atlanta. Okay, I got nail pop, ooh, shit. Nail polishes, ooh, I love it. LA Girl, this is the LA Girl Pop of Color. Oh, I'm excited about this mint color though. Ooh, let me go ahead, let me, let me just so they don't wash out, cause you know, you have to put your hand, you know, like YouTubers do, you know what I mean? Bam, okay. These are so gorgeous, look at that. Bam, bam, okay. And uh, let's see, oh, they gave me two of them. Hey, I like it, oh, this is so pretty, oh! Oh, this is the first time I'm seeing this, y'all. So, bam. Okay. 
And, oh, they gave me so many spring colors. You have no idea, y'all. Y'all know I'm a nail fanatic. Bam! Look how pretty that is. And I will let you guys know how these finish. You guys always know I tell you guys. And if I don't tell you guys here, I always tell you guys, I try to tell you guys right away on the vlog channel because y'all always see me get my nails done on the vlog channel. Hey, the darker one. Hey, I got more of these down. Hey, okay. I'm cool now. They got my skin tone. Okay, this is a uh, triple enhancing lip gloss. I love the packaging on these. Bam. Okay. And they have some more lip glosses. So these are just a couple more just so you guys can see. I'm not going to swatch all these. It will take all damn day. Bam. Okay. So you guys already know I'm going to rock the heck out of all of these while I can. Every video I can, can you know, to do, to do it in. I can do it in. And they gave me some lipsticks, LA Girl. These are cream lipsticks and they gave me a variety of different colors. So this is just to show you guys. They gave me six colors of the lipsticks. Holy crap, and they're packaged, otherwise I would swatch some, but that's just to show you guys what they look like. So, oh my gosh, thank you so much to LA Girl. One, for sponsoring the event. Two, for putting this together. The package is so sweet of you guys to do it. I will certainly be letting all of you guys know about these products. And, oh shoot, you know what, I forgot. But I done did. I done forgot the top part of the box. Because uh, I took the top part of the box out because there's stuff in it. Oh my goodness. Okay. This whole thing is full of stuff. So sweet. So nice. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. Okay. This is a pro primer. Oh, that's nice. This is also an LA Girl product. Look at this, y'all. Oh my goodness. Look at this. All of this is LA Girl. They put the primer in there. This is an eye primer, but I love the packaging on it because you can literally just easily put it on your eye without having to touch your fingers. I love that. Oh, I love it. This is an eyeshadow primer in black. I've never seen that. Oh, this is nice. I'm gonna have a ball with these lip liners. Oh, that, I'm good. This, oh, we about to, look, I'm sorry. I'm reacting because I'm. this is the first time I've seen this gel liner in gold. Look at that color. Beach, bear, we about to go ham. Oh, I love it. Semi-permanent, semi-permanent auto lip liner. I've never heard of that. That's gonna be interesting. So anyway, needless to say, we got some mascara in here. This mascara is booming lash. I'm gonna have a ball with these. But anyway, thank you. Thank you so much to LA Girl for that. This is from City Colors. Um, bam, look at that. Eyeshadows. Y'all know I love playing with eyeshadows, so I'm gonna have a ball with this. This is from City Color. A matte blush in there. Okay. Some lippies as well. I like that. I like that. And we also got a contour effects kit. So that's what it looks like. And then bam. It has the way you can highlight on top or contour on top, and then it has the three colors here. I'm excited to see how this pans out to see if it even shows up, you know, on my skin tone. Um, mascara, okay. And this right here is their loose powder. So, and it's like a translucent powder, okay. This is off the chain. White gold is there, this is what, white gold. Mousse eyeshadow, ooh, this might be similar to like those Maybelline ones. Anyway, that's the packaging for it. So we're gonna see how that pans out. So yeah, that's all from uh, City Color. So thank you so much for that as well. City Color also sent, I meant to show this to you guys, I showed it too early, setting spray. They sent a setting spray as well. So we'll see how this pans out. Okay, Lord, okay. Now for a couple of last pieces that I got from iMats and then we are done, okay? I'm looking at the clock, I'm like, ah! Okay, I'm sorry, it's gonna be a long video. It's gonna be over 30 minutes. Because I, I, you know, I'm thorough. I, okay, I give up. I'm just, as I was saying. So, this is the stuff that I purchased from IMATS at the actual show itself. Y'all know we get these big ass bags, like so, bam, okay? So, there's just a few items in here that I purchased. Now, showing this to you so you can see that I got the rest. Um, Y'all know in my Best of Beauty that I showed you guys um, in part two, the Sigma Angled Kabuki Brush, and I also showed you a few other brushes that I love, love, love. Remember, they're all linked down below. This is the F8, or the F84 brush. You guys know I absolutely love this brush. This is what I took with me to LA. This is what I use every single day, gone day. Contour all day, you hear me? 
firm bristles, super soft, amazing brush, synthetic, y'all know the deal. Love this brush, it's the first brush I've ever gotten from Sigma, and one of my absolute hands down favorite brushes. So, while I was at Sigma, I had to take advantage and buy most of the rest. There was one that's still left of this kit that was sold out, of course, but I'll probably just end up buying it online. So these are the three brushes that I got of the same line from the same collection, same brush type, but these are just the different brushes for them. This is the F82, this is the round kabuki, and so you guys pretty much can see. I love compact kabuki brushes like this. They're great for applying liquid foundation, amazing. This is an angled brush in the same collection. This is the um, F88 brush, and this one is the tapered kabuki. Y'all know I love these. This is F86, amazing. Anything with a tip, I love. Y'all know we like the tip. Okay, I have never tried one of these. In fact, I have an imitation of this, okay? Here we go, bam, the Beauty Blender. I know y'all have probably heard about these everywhere and I've always wanted to try them and y'all know they had them on a discount over there and it was Sunday when I went to shop so a lot of this shit was even cheaper than the main days of IMATS. That's why I always shop on Sunday. Just FYI, use that when you go to IMATS. And so I ended up getting two little uh, beauty blenders. I have the imitations of these as well. So I will be certainly letting you know, cause you know if the, if the you know, the foodie fenders or the woody wenders work better than this or the just the same, I'm gonna let you know, okay? So that's another thing I got. Last but not least, y'all, and I promise y'all, on everything that I love on this planet, and that's a whole hell of a lot, that this is it after this, okay? I went to Lime Crime. Y'all know how it goes. Lime Crime, if any of you guys have ever been to IMATS, Lime Crime's lines are like all the way inside, out the dough, around the bend, down the street, next city, okay? So I finally got a chance to go to Lime Crime. I wanted to get these lippies so bad and I got two, bam, okay? So these are the Lime Crime, bam. Doesn't really show much of the color it does, but because it's a foggy glass, but yeah, I had to wipe down my, look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? It's beautiful. I've been wanting to try these out for the longest and they kept, like every time I would go on they'd be sold out or I just never got around to it or just forgot. And this one is in red velvet, same thing, okay, and I'm trying to be thorough. I'm trying, I'm trying, <laughs> here we go, bam, red, okay. Last but not least, I went to Anastasia, okay, and I have been wanting to try this for a while now, so I finally got my hands on the Dip Brow Pomade. It's really Pomade, y'all. I'm Haitian, so Pomade, okay? So anyway, Dip Brow Pomade, here it is, bam, okay? I got it in two different colors, and these are for the brows, chocolate and dark brown, okay? Because you guys know I change my hair color a lot. I've been working a lot on my brows. I've been actually going to someone new to, um, do my eyebrows so I'm in the process of trying to basically grow them out. I'm not good at eyebrows. Y'all already know so you can say that shit for somebody else. However, I am going to someone new who's really helping me to kind of grow them out. I don't have an arch, you know, and that kind of thing. So eventually I'm going to be able to do that. Um, so anyway, if you guys follow me on the blog, on the vlog channel, y'all know. So as I experiment, we're going to play with these as well. So anyway, that's it. Look, I'm trying y'all. I'm trying. Oh, let me show y'all a little baggie that City Keller's got to send us to. Okay. Anyway. That is all the stuff that I got from IMS. I wasn't playing when I said I got a whole hell of a lot of shit. I apologize, this video is gonna be super duper long. It just will be. I hope you guys had a paper pen. I hope you guys had, you know, took notes, put some things down. Let us me know in the comments what you guys wanna see in the future, okay? Because I got a lot of stuff to be able to showcase to y'all. Anyway, wanted to show these to you guys, and uh, yeah, stay tuned for more videos coming from your girl. I have some more foundations in addition to the things that I showed you here that I need to showcase to y'all guys as well. But, you know, during the holiday, it was just hard for me to get around to it because of the holiday. But now that I'm back and I'm back in normal, you know, I can get to it. So, stay tuned for those things, and yeah, those of you guys that I've met out there, I love y'all, and thank you for coming up to me and saying hello. I had an amazing time. I look forward to the future. And got some stuff coming down the pike, so just be on the lookout. So, anyway, you already know what to do. As always, follow me on Twitter at twitter.com forward slash socialitesandy. Hit me up on my Facebook fan page or my Pinterest page. Those links are down below. Hit me up on my blog, the socialitelife.blogspot.com. And hit me up on Instagram at socialitesandy. And you already know I love y'all. And I will see y'all in the next video. Love y'all. Bye. It's official, y'all. We're officially LA tourists. Hey, we got our burgers right here. Yeah. Shakes. Shakes. Coke. Look, yeah. we're going all the way out. <laughs> Look, before we start doing this health shit again. Hey, we're going to have a good.